Recognizing National Police Week, a citizens group called Raleigh Police Department Foundation has a number of events planned to show support to our officers. All week, churches in Raleigh are taking lunch to police substations. Today, it was Bayleaf Baptist Church in Southeast Raleigh having lunch with officers who patrol their neighborhoods. Officers told us it's a great chance for the community to meet the people behind the badge and a way for the officers to understand concerns in the community. Also today, Raleigh Mayor Marion Baldwin presented a proclamation to the RPD at the state capitol grounds. Chief Estella Patterson was there along with Brenda Gibson, the chair of the Police Foundation. The event also honored fallen RPD officers who died in the line of duty. Unprecedented. We haven't had something like that happen here in the capital city. Um, that was tremendous for the mayor really just to take time out of her day to acknowledge and recognize our police foundation, our officers, and also honoring police week. That was a special treat for us. I think when our officers see this kind of support, it encourages them in the work that they're doing. It's a tough job, but to know that you got community support is a wonderful thing. We were also there. Lauren and I sat down this evening with Chief Patterson for a conversation about many different topics. She told us the RPD is proud of new crime numbers showing a more than 50% decrease in homicides year over year. I think that comes from intentionality. We've been very intentional about focusing on problem locations and problem offenders, really honing in on who is causing the most problems in our communities. Um, it's just, you know, it's disheartening for me when I get a call or when I get a community member saying, I'm hearing shots being fired in my neighborhood and I don't see any officers. We know we have to impact that and I feel we are making those strides. But also to National Police Week runs through Saturday. Stay tuned to Eyewitness News on air and online for more from that sit-down interview with Chief Patterson.